We have today Ukrainian Independence Day. It's uh, like big celebrate for us, for our community, for all Ukrainian people, especially right now because we have more than two year war in our country, and uh, every city right now try to. Uh, show all people how it's important for us, for all Ukrainian people, and we make like uh, Ukrainian independent chain. Uh, it's uh, all people uh, stay hand by hand and make chain on all world. We try do this uh, in every city right now. So we singing uh, Ukrainian hymn. It's national Ukrainian hymn. Everybody knows this. What does the song say? We are very strong, uh, yeah. we uh, want and we can uh, fight and uh, fight for our freedom and fight for uh, our future. I'm Alexander Milutin. I live in North Bay right now. I come to North Bay more than two years. Vice President in Ukrainian community. Uh, we from Kiev, capital of Ukraine. Great. And I bring a lot of my friends from Ukraine, from Kyiv, especially Ruslan, it's my neighbor in our building. And we have a few neighbors too here, and also a lot of friends who I know more than 10 years. I bring here, we help each to each. My name is Ruslan. Uh, uh, I want to say a very great thank you for North Bay, for Canada. Uh, Canada gave us uh, new opportunities, uh, but uh, I want to say that uh, we are very friendly uh, and uh, we are not uh, balanced. In Ukraine, uh, I was university teacher, he was uh, owner of business and uh, we grateful uh, for uh, North Bay, uh, but uh, we can uh, give uh, uh, Canada and North Bay a lot of opportunities too. Uh, I hope that uh, we, uh, we are proud of uh, that we are citizens of North Bay now and uh, we ho uh, I hope that uh, in the future North Bay will be proud we are citizens of North Bay too. Uh, and uh, because uh, North Bay and uh, uh, every city is not territory, uh, it's uh, people and uh, we we uh, are Ukrainians very friendly, very uh, workable, uh, very clever, and uh, we can give uh, North Bay and Canada a lot of uh, good deals. How many uh, new Ukrainians are in North Bay now? Around 100 people. But uh, we are working uh, to, uh, to, to increase this quantity. Now you've recently got your permanent residence? Yes. And you have a baby on the way, so you're going to yes. have a Canadian citizen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right and hopefully in two years we get Canadian citizenship uh, for all my family and a lot of our friends get too.
Right on. And yourself, sir? I came only three months ago, but I hope that uh, I will do uh, the same things that, that my friends. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah. Slava Ukraini. My name is Dennis. I've been here for one year and I'm here studying at the Canada College. Uh, I'm studying game design and development. That's my program. Uh, right now I'm entering my second year, so that's it. Where did you come from? What part of Ukraine? Uh, I came from the south of Ukraine. Uh, it's like a big city, Odessa. So I came from there. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 22, well, uh, 22 right now. Yeah. Um, what were you doing in Odessa before you came here? Uh, before coming here, I was studying in university. I was studying information technologies and software engineering. Uh, yeah, so when I decided to came here, uh, to, to come here, I was thinking that I want to do something the same. So Canada opened that opportunity for me, providing me an opportunity to study here and choose the program that I wanted to study. Um, people will wonder uh, how you got out without being in the army and having to fight. Again? People will wonder what, how did you leave because uh, you're a fighting age. How did you not uh, go in the army? Oh, yeah. uh, I was the lucky one at the first uh, in the first few months when war began. Uh, like actually, we have like an open borders with Moldova, but our government start to prevent us from uh, leaving the country because we, we, you can easily cross the border. Uh, for example, from the Moldovan side. Right. But what they did, they put like special blog posts that are not allowed, allowing you to leave uh, the country itself. Right. So they were just not allow you to get to the area where you can leave uh, the border. But as I said, in the beginning, they were like, it was pretty messy and they didn't prepare everything well. So I got an opportunity to reach the border of Moldova and there, there was like an uh, ambassador of uh how it's called uh Un united union oh right yeah. yeah so yeah they helped me like uh i wrote a special like paper mm -hmm. that yeah that's my like human rights so yeah. i'm i have to i i'm able to live so, so they helped me with that as a refugee you were able to get out yeah yeah because like it's a human right yeah. uh if you if you are not a fighter if you like if you more like believe in humanity and you don't think that killing other people worth it probably that's not the right place for you yeah for sure um, i'm sure some of your friends and uh, relatives were impacted by the war yeah yeah of course like, i guess like everybody here uh everybody has some like family members who already died in that war so i'm not an exception yeah i have like a bunch of uh my family members who were like impacted from that who are who are who are that right now so how does it feel uh, watching the news of what's going on there now after uh, two and a half years of war well it sounds pretty tough but uh war is changing people a lot like after a while uh, at first you feel like the strongest empathy in your life that you could ever have but then like because it's too much like mental pressure on your on you your mental health is becoming more tough it's not um, it's not proceeding information the same way that it was before so yeah at that time i can say that we become a little bit more tough mentally so over the time when at first when you for example uh, have seen the news where like 300 people died that was like a big tragedy uh, tragedy and uh, after two years it sounds so bad but it's but it becomes just a number and for everybody in the world who is reading the news they they were not there they don't understand that and for everybody it's just a number but behind each number there is like a personality there is a life so that's how it is You've been in Canada here for a, a, a year. How do you find it here? Do you see opportunity and a life for yourself? Yeah, yeah. I can easily see my future here. And as I said, especially thanks to Canada that they give us such an opportunity to come here, to study here. Uh, I'm super grateful for that. Have you made a lot of friends? 
Yeah, I, I made like a lot of friends, like Canadians, international. At first it was pretty difficult for me because, uh, because of the cultural difference. I didn't understand people well, especially the way Canadians are speaking. Like they are like super polite. They are wondering like, the f I remember my first time in a grocery store when I was at checkout and cashier started asking me except of like, instead of asking me like debit or credit, they ask, how are you? That was something that I was amazed by. I, I didn't know what actually to answer, like, because, like, well, I'm fine. Yeah, that was an interesting moment. But eventually, uh, I really appreciate that community and people especially. Like, there could be, like, maybe better countries, but what I really appreciate in Canada is community and people. Like, people here are different. And I like, like, after a while, I get to know them better and I really appreciate people here. Is it important to have a, a strong Ukrainian community here too, as well? Yeah, for for a lot of people, as you see, like there are a bunch of families, like I came alone, but for families, I believe it's super important to have someone who the, with whom they can share their like uh, thoughts about the war, about like problems that they're facing to here. So yeah, I believe that's important. And it's, it's important for any culture uh, and any nation because I believe well as I'm pretty uh, informed about international community here I know that everybody has their own community Indians Nigerians uh, Mexicans everybody like so Ukrainians are not the exception but we are trying to be more united at that time thank you very much thank you Возьмитесь. Еще убрать, Слава Украине!